In Ecuador's biggest city, the metropolis of Guayaquil, everyone wants a piece of Julio Nivello. The people try to kidnap him, to rob me. Oh, they know, oh, this is the golden boy. You see? That's what they call you in Ecuador? The golden boy. <laughs> Nivello is a folk hero in his hometown, the guy who stole a bucket of gold in the heart of Manhattan and got away. When you crossed into Ecuador, did you think, finish line, they can't get me, Julio Nivello wins? I won. Yeah, I won. The game is over and I won. The money was in the safety hands, in the safety place with the girl I love. But if all that sounds too perfect, it is. 16 months after he pulled off a heist made for YouTube, Nivello called the I-Team to confess how he did it and to explain why Hollywood couldn't write this ending. I understand you always remember about the truck, the pail of gold, but I tried to make this interview because I feel hurt, not only my pocket, my heart is broken. To be sure, love was the last thing on Nivello's mind the day he stunned New York. Did you know an armored truck would be coming to that spot that day? Not really. But the career criminal who says he routinely stole from trucks in Midtown was always on the lookout for buckets like this one used to haul gold. I guess if you are a football player, always you try to play Super Bowl. So to me, I always was, you know, like, a, okay, my lucky day will be one day I'm ready for. It came on September 29th, 2016, on 48th near Rockefeller Center. I was surprised because I saw two silhouettes only. I can believe this armored truck just take care of for two guys. And then, incredibly, one guard walked away. Boom, he gave me the chance. Took me like 10 seconds. The second he snatched the bucket, Nivello had problems. Because it was too heavy. 86 pounds. Huh. So heavy. So heavy. He wrestled it down the street, hauled it on his shoulder, waddled down Park Avenue, and finally stopped to catch his breath. As soon as I passed Fifth Avenue, nobody followed me. I knew the game is over. Boom. On 49th Street, Nivello called a friend claiming he had a bucket of paint and needed a ride home to New Jersey. You're thinking how much is in that pail? Mm, 600 at the, at the most, 600,000. It's a good day. It's a pretty good day. Good day. Huh? was my retirement. Good day. <laughs> Made me laugh. Nivello soon discovered he'd stolen $1.6 million in gold. The first people who came to my mind was my fiancé. And you thought this is it. We're going to ride off into yeah. the sunset, right? Now we'll be... The happiness will arrive again to my life. Indeed, Nivello says life was looking very good as that bucket of gold was exchanged for cash on the black market. One million, two hundred thousand, thirty thousand dollars. Enough for the lovebirds to vanish in style. But first, Nivello had to flee the country. That's why he says he hid most of the cash in a storage locker. Safe to say Novello never saw this coming. This is my house. I live with my mom. This is the room of the golden boy. Yeah, my fiancé took the money that belonged to us. I feel broke. As he travels the streets of Ecuador, constantly looking over his shoulder, he wishes everyone could hear that. He also hopes the NYPD pays attention to this. Everyone here knows you as the golden boy. <laughs> But you don't have the cash. Let me, let me laugh. Yeah. Do, you, do you know the advertising? And where is the beef? I would like to say, where is the money? The money is back in New Jersey. Yes, he said New Jersey. Tomorrow, the I-Team on the trail of the money and the Golden Boy revealing more stunning secrets among them, how he hid from the cops in Times Square and how stealing a bucket of gold was nothing compared to his escape from New York. In Midtown, I'm Mark Santia, News for New York.